hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel if you have not subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe and today i'll be using a green color yarn to make this sweater and a four millimeter hook you also require a tape measure so we we'll start by chaining the the width of this sweater dress so you will first measure your hip size and my hip size is 40 40 divided by 2 is 20 and for 20 for 20 inches i had to chain 100 stitches make a slip knot insert the hook on that small knot and start chaining 100 stitches if you are petite you will reduce the number of stitches and if you are plus size you will increase the number of stitches For this sweater, we'll be making the back piece of the sweater and the front piece of the sweater, but I will be only showing you how to make the front piece, which is similar to back piece. And it's what you are making right now. <laughs> After chaining the 100 stitches, this is what you will be doing next. So we, you will yarn over and skip the first stitch to the next stitch make a half double crochet over there. So repeat a row of half double crochet. So yarn over, insert the hook on the stitch, pull through and yarn over all the three loops at the same time. I will meet you at the end of this row to show you how to make this pattern. It's a bean, bean pattern, bean seed pattern, I mean. In the next row, we'll be doing something different. And this row will be repeating it to the hands of the sweater and the whole pieces of the sweater and to the whole uh, to the all rows of this sweater so what you do you start by chaining two skip the first stitch and onto the next stitch insert the hook and pull through yarn over insert the hook and pull through and yarn over all the four loops at the same time then chain one then skip the next stitch insert the hook and pull through then yarn over then insert the hook again and pull through and yarn over all the four loops at the same time. So skip the next stitch and onto the next stitch is insert. Always ensure that you have four loops on the on the hook so that you can make this bean seed. So chain one, skip one, then insert the hook, pull through and yarn over and insert the hook again then chain one i'm sorry for that skip the next stitch insert the hook pull through yarn over insert the hook and pull through all the three four loops at the same time so repeat this until the end of the row and i'll meet you at the next row to show you what to do next For this pattern, we'll be using a multiple of 2 plus 1 stitch, but I made an error on counting. So remember on the last stitch, on this, on the last stitch, remember to make a single crochet like I'm doing. Then after that, chain 2 and turn your work around and this pattern will be repeating it for the next for the couple of rows or to all rows so what you'll be doing there are two stitches on this part and you'll be using only the first stitch over there so just insert the hook pull through yarn over inside the hook and pull yarn over all the three loops at the same time then chain one and so we'll be using the first piece over there to do to make this pattern then chain one 
Then after that, insert the hook, pull through the yarn, yarn over, insert the hook again and pull through, then yarn over all the four loops at the same time. Just watch keenly how I'm doing it and you understand. So if you can't understand, just rewind the video. So it's a simple pattern and a very cute pattern. <laughs> Your piece should be looking like this and remember for this pattern you will be using a multiple of 2 plus 1. So um, I made an error on counting mine was a bit different. So at the end of this row on the last stitch you will be making a single crochet then chaining 2 to begin the next row. The next row is the row that you will be repeating to the whole pattern. So if you check on your pattern there after the bin seed there are two openings on the on your pattern so you'll be making a bin seed on the first opening or or the first space over there after that chain one and, and move to the first opening and make a bin seed over there chain one and to the first space Insert the hook and pull through the yarn, yarn over, insert the hook and pull through, then yarn over all the four loops at the same time. Then chain one and move to the, onto the first opening. Don't forget, so we'll be making the bin seed on the first opening only. The length of my sweater is 28 inches. If you are shorter, you'll be making less inches. If you are taller, you can make similar inches like mine then repeat this for a couple of rows also remember on the last stitch of this pattern you will be making a single crochet and chaining two to start a new row after a couple of rows this is all my pattern looks the pattern is so cute so you should be having something like this. So I'll be repeating this until 28 inches and I'll meet you to show you how to make the neck part or the shoulder flaps. In this section, I'll be showing you how to make the shoulder flap and I've already made one piece of the shoulder flap. So if you have the stitch marks, you'll mark the two, you'll be marking two parts where I have placed my hands. So just approximate your work because I didn't count the number of stitches which I skipped. Just approximate your work. And now I'll be showing you how to reduce this pattern. So attach your yarn, then I'll meet you. After attaching your yarn, insert the hook and pull through the yarn. Then chain two as before. Then instead of placing the bean seed on that stitch that you are placing before, we'll be skipping that stitch. And moving to the next stitch, there is where that's where we're placing the bean seed. This is to reduce this pattern, and we'll be reducing the pattern on both on the both sides. So on the rest of the stitches, we'll, we'll, we will not be reducing this pattern. So repeat this and I will meet you where you have placed your stitch marker to show you how to reduce the 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 bean the bean stitches and
we'll be reducing the pattern again when we reach on where you have placed a stitch marker i don't have the stitch marker so to reduce this pattern what we'll be doing where you are placing your bean seed like before we place the bean seed on the first opening so what you will be doing is placing the bean seed on the second opening instead of placing it on the first opening and this is how we'll be reducing the pattern and we'll be reducing the pattern on the boards ends on the board on the boards end so that you can be making a V a V shaped neck. For example, in here I chained two and instead of placing the bean seed on the first stitch as we did before, I will be placing it on the second opening over there. Then chain one and put a bean seed on the on the other stitches as usual. So repeat this for about seven rows or if you want an off shoulder you can increase the rows and make 10 rows or 12 rows also remember to reduce where you have placed your stitch marker and also reduce on the other sides on the back part of the sweater after the seven rows of reducing, this is how my piece of sweater looks. So your pattern should look like this. And also repeat this to the back piece of the sweater. In this section, I'll be showing you how to join the shoulder flaps and you'll be joining them on the you'll be joining the back piece and the front piece together. So align your shoulder pieces together and using a needle join your shoulder flaps and after that i'll be showing you how to seam the neck or make the neck part so this is so simple repeat repeat this After joining, remember to leave some, some space to attach your hands over there. So I'll be leaving that space over there. So we are in another section. This is to make a round neck on the, on the sweater. So what you will do, attach your yarn on any side of the sweater or any side of the neck part or any side of the V-shaped neck. So start by chaining three, which will act as our first double crochet. Then repeat around a row of a row of double crochets on the neck part. In this section, we'll be doing the ribbing of the neck. So what we'll be doing, we'll be alternating the back post double crochet and the front post double crochet. And this is how we'll be doing it. Yarn over. So slip stitch here at the end of that, the first row then by slip stitching onto where you chain three then yarn over and do a front post and that's how we do it you insert the hook on the front of the 
you push the the post on the front of the hook then do a back post and make a double crochet then be alternating this pattern so repeat the rows of back post and the front post where you have a front post make another front post and where you have a back post make another back post double crochet over there and also we'll be repeating this on the lower side of the sweater for about 10 rows and on the neck part we'll be doing for five rows so repeat that and on the next section i'll be showing you how to make the sleeves after five rows this is how your neck part should be looking like and the lower part of the sweater should be looking like this using the back post and the front post and that how it looks it's so cute then i'll be showing you how to make the sleeves to make the wind of my sleeves i chained 70 plus one stitch to make them 71 and i repeated a couple of rows to make a length of 18 inches and after that i'll be showing you how to rip this pattern to rip the hand on the wrist part and we'll be using where we started by making the half double crochet over there so attach your yarn so insert the hook and pull through the yarn and after that i changed about 10 stitches or more so you can chain more stitches according to your preferences then after that repeat a row of single crochets on the on the stitches which you have chained To end this row, what you'll be doing is making a, you'll be slip stitching to end that row, then skip the next stitch and onto the next stitch, slip stitch again. Then repeat a row of single crochets. After completing that row on the that upper part, you chain one and turn your work around. Then again, repeat a row of single crochets. And when you reach at the end of the row, remember to slip stitch and skip one stitch and slip stitch onto the other stitch. Then make another row of single crochets. So repeat this pattern until the whole part of the sweater is covered. And this is how my sleeves looks after joining the boots ends of the sleeves. So make two sleeves make two sleeves. This is how we'll be attaching the sleeves on the sweater using a needle. So just observe what I'm doing. It's a bit difficult to explain.
this is the end of our tutorial don't forget to subscribe and on this week i'll be posting a fancy top so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can't miss out and you can also comment on the comment section any question or don't also forget to like this video i have a lot of ideas and which i'm coming up with it's just a matter of time and i'll um i'll just post them on youtube so just subscribe to my channel and this is how my setup looks i don't like the lighting of this piece of the video this is the neck part which is so cute and this is the lower part of this sweater so my sweater it's about 30 inches i'm a bit tall then also i made the belt of the the belt of this dress so i don't have a tutorial for this belt but it's so simple just chain 200 over or over 200 stitches and remove and re and repeat after book crochet being um, to make this belt and make about six rows or seven rows and that is it for today don't forget to subscribe to my channel to like my channel and to share let's meet this week on friday or on saturday